Buckeyes are going to warmer weather this year after spending last bowl season in New York City in the Pinstripe Bowl. The Hawks arrived in sunny Tampa, Florida today as they began to kick off their week of bowl festivities and practices. And as usual, this game is no different in that it's all business. We know we're going up against the top uh, SEC opponent ranked in the top 20 and you know bowl game is always a different challenge with the longer preparation but it's, it's a game we're really looking forward to and you know we're down here we're going to try to enjoy it, the experience but at the same time we came here to win a game. Crazy to think that the Hawkeyes bowl destination could have been so much different had four one possession games had gone their way. Kirk Farron sat down with Hawkeye headquarters to talk about that and how they can't think about the what ifs or the what could have been. That is the deal in one possession games. You know, in uh, 15, we won those games. We found a way to just get up over the top. And then, you know, this year, not quite the same. Uh, I think sometimes there's a little f fate and fortune with that stuff. But, but there are some, certain little things maybe we can do and do a little bit better. And I, I'm just thinking about some, usually it gets down to just some fundamental things, you know, whether it's uh, not downing uh, a plus 50 punt in uh, our last loss. We had a chance to down it inside the five. Hopefully get a stop, maybe get field position, get a score like, like we did the Michigan game. That was good team football. Okay, we didn't execute that in the Northwestern game. Uh, the thing about this team, they worked hard week in and week out. They competed hard week in and week out. And, and sometimes we came up a little bit short, and sometimes it goes that way. 08 comes to mind right away. Uh, but the guys kept pushing, and that, that's, that's what we got to focus on right now. What can we do at this last opportunity? Iowa and Mississippi State will kick off at 11 a.m. on New Year's Day. Much more on both of their bowl game coverages coming up.